Hi, my name is Jennifer Braid. I'm a research assistant professor in the Department of Materials Science and Engineering at Case Western Reserve University. And here I'll discuss our proposal for scratch corrosion study protocol and supervised image machine learning, which is a proposed two year project in the MDS for Live program. This project will improve on the traditionally manual classification of scratch corrosion tests by applying an automated classification algorithm. This algorithm will eliminate operator bias and error in corrosion classification, and it will also provide a mechanism for input of data beyond the defined scope of the project for continuing model improvement. The objectives of this project are to extract greater scientific information and insights from the scratch corrosion test. We'll compare the salt fog and prohesion tests and make the results more accurate and predictive for the large number of degradation modes that are observed in the scratch corrosion test. We'll develop and validate an image-based study protocol and develop materials data science codes for image processing and supervised image machine learning. The algorithm for automated classification of scratch corrosion tests developed in this project will leverage technology that was developed under Department of Energy funding to classify degradation of photovoltaic modules. Here we'll use the same strategy of quantitative image processing followed by supervised image machine learning applied to scratch corrosion ratings. The time, steps, and exposure protocol for this project will include a salt fog chamber with salt spray or prohesion. This test is typically done in increments of 2,000 hours, but here we'll employ stepwise exposure and evaluation in 500 hour time steps to observe the corrosion trend and rate. This would yield nine step evaluations or nine images in 4,000 hours of exposure. Image processing for the scratch corrosion test will first involve planar indexing to detail and crop the image so that only the relevant area of the image is used for classification. And then we'll apply metrics to measure the scratch, such as the scratch width, length, texturing, and color changes. Then we'll tag the images with the exposure time. Here's an example of how we measured corrosion line widths on photovoltaic cells. The process included filtering of the image, an adaptive histogram, and binarization of the image so that we could measure the width of the corroded area. Supervised machine learning protocol first requires manual classification of your data. This data is split into a training set and a testing set. The training set is used to train your machine learning algorithm, and the testing set is then used to quantify the accuracy of that algorithm. Here's an example of a convolutional neural network used for classification. Input images are first standardized for a spe specific size. Then convolutional layers are used to create feature maps of the input images. Pooling layers reduce the dimensionality of the feature maps so that the original images can be classified into categories. We'll evalu evaluate various models for classification. In addition to the convolutional neural network, we'll also test the support vector machine and other models such as hierarchical clustering for accuracy and speed. And we'll also compare model results with pixel-based quantities from quantitative image processing to validate our model responses. The deliverables of the project include specification of data acquisition protocol. So this includes the process for photographing our test samples at 500 hour steps using a photo booth, image processing code to planar index the scratch corrosion images, and procedures for supervising a set of test images, as well as an initially trained convolutional neural network model for scratch corrosion and an automated pipeline for uh, adding data to 
improve the model. This is a two-year project that includes various tasks such as sample fabrication and measurement, uh, sample photography, image processing, image classification and supervised machine learning, and gauge RNR for various human test evaluators. Thank you for your attention and I look forward to working on this project in the future.